happy birthday aquas welcome to the aquarius bonus birthday reading for aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter i hope you guys are doing really good and enjoying your birthday season so far doing this one a little early so for those who are not used to uh my bonus birthday videos every zodiac sign season i do like a big um video with like a couple spreads uh, for that particular sign. Now these are very general. We do two to three depending on how they're going and also if my throat is holding up because as you guys know, a very sensitive throat chakra just is what it is. Um, <clears throat> they, like I said, they are very general. So just keep in mind that they're not going to be for everybody. And you guys know how energy works. It can be vice versa. And it can be picking up on energy uh, around you or people who are in your physical environment or energy energetically attached to you. Excuse me. And as I'm talking, like something is making my throat constrict a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, also, aquas, these are very, these are timeless. Okay, so time is not linear. Whenever you come across this, is when you're supposed to come across this, or this could be pertaining to something that you've already gone through. Okay, but like I said, I do two to three, so hang out. There could be one in here for you that you really resonate with, and if you're not resonating with it, no need to throw hate or shade. Just watch any other tarot reader we have on YouTube. We have a lot of good ones. Okay. All right. So I felt uh, compelled. To, compelled. Compelled? What's compelled? Compelled, excuse me, <laughs> to pull the Spellcasters deck for you guys. I also saw a lot of, like, church visuals, okay? Um, some of you guys could be just getting more in touch with religion versus spirituality. Some of you might be needing to go to church for some reason or another. It felt... I don't know how to describe this. Um, the energy behind what I was seeing, it's like whatever reason that you were going... It's, it was church, specifically church. There's a lot of religions out there where there's, like, no church involved, right? Specifically, it was church. Um, whatever reasons that you're you're going to church, I have to be honest, it didn't feel like typical reasons. It didn't feel like I'm going to church because I want to be more connected to my religion. It didn't feel that way. It felt like um, like I have to, like I just have to, almost like an obligatory kind of energy. Some of you are going to a wedding or a funeral. I don't know, but it is what I saw. It is what I saw. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this first one. Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius? Wow, the deck does not want to say in my hands. <laughs> this does not want to say in my hands. I just heard force. Um, okay, there's a pressure. Aqua, you guys are feeling pressured or forced to do something. Of course, naturally, you're not liking that. You try to force an aqua to do anything. Um, but you feel like either people around you or someone in particular is trying to get you to do something very specific. And you're just like, no, I don't want to do this. I feel like I have to do this to appease them or appease a group of people. But I don't want to do this. But you feel like you have to. It's a very strange feeling. Any messages for Aquarius? There's arguments ensuing because of this. I don't feel like it's work-related. I don't feel like it's work-related. It definitely feels social. Um, this could be a family obligation. I feel like it could be family. I just, I feel like there's more people involved than need to, than are necessary. Too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians, right? That whole saying. Actually, I really don't like that saying. Anyway, <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. People are throwing their weight around and they don't need to be. They don't need to be. They don't need to be involved in this shit. But it's almost like you're getting ganged up on, Aqua. It seems like you're getting ganged up on. I'm not liking that. <clears throat> Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius? One more. Okay. Ooh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter energy. Okay. Straight up, some of you have just come into some money and everyone's got a freaking opinion on what you should do about it <laughs> or do with it. Screw that. Sorry, that's obviously not for everybody, but that just came in like super quick and super strong. Fuck that. It's your money. Do what you want with it. Okay. Anyway, Jupiter energy going on here. So I like this for you guys. Aqua, it is your birthday season. Usually when we have our birthdays, it's like our own personal new year, which is always kind of fun. It brings in a new numerological vibration for us personally, despite what's going on planetarily speaking, right? Um, so things are changing up for you and it feels good. It feels positive. But yeah, I just, I feel naysayers around you. I, sorry, excuse me. I have a crystal in there and it started poking me. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, Aquas, I feel like you got a lot of naysayers. I feel like everyone's got a fucking opinion about what you should, sorry, I guess I'm mean, just in your agitation. Everyone's got an opinion of what you should be doing. And you're like, well, I feel good. I'm coming into some new shit. Some of you guys have some new opportunities on the table. And it's just like, why does everybody give a shit about what I'm doing? Sorry, got all passionate there for you guys. Any other messages for Aquas pertaining to the spread? Ooh. Oh, Aqua, we have 10 of wands in reverse. Sag energy, I like this. Yeah, whatever your, whatever change is going on in your life here, Aqua, it feels so positive. It feels really good. And you're dropping a lot of shit, uh, things that are unnecessary. For some of you, it's a big sigh of relief. Some of you, like I said, I, I was sensing that coming into money, that's relieving a lot of your financial worries. But your stresses are going away. Your concerns are leaving you. And that feels really good. Some of you can have a Jupiter Sag placement, by the way. Um, but I just keep feeling like people around you want to bring you down. Like they're trying really hard to. Or they just have too many goddamn opinions. <clears throat> Any other messages for Aquarius regarding this spread? Oh, look at that, Aqua. 801, Sag energy. Yeah, see, this is, I love this energy for you because it's not only movement, it's, it's, it's a force. Like, so it's interesting that I was getting force earlier. Um, it's an unstoppable force. Okay. It could also be about communication, but it's definitely ascension. You're heading towards really amazing things. Uh, and again, I keep getting like people trying to bring you down. I don't like that. I don't like that. Some of you guys could be dating. Interesting. Unexpectedly. <laughs> I just heard unexpectedly dating. Ooh, you got two eights here. Very auspicious. Eight of pentacles. Some of you, this is definitely a promotion at work. That's what this could indicate or move for work. You're just really focused on you. You're focused on you and, um, ooh, the blessings. The blessings that are coming into your life. The positive changes that are happening for you. You're just focused on that. And people, I swear to God, people just want to tear you down. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding this spread? Feels very positive, Aquarius. Ooh. let's see what's underneath this one because oh 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 my okay very unexpected um because i just saw the top card <laughs> the ace of cups and i'll i say it's underneath i'm like oh crap <laughs> we have five of swords aquarian energy venus and aqua to be specific two of cups in reverse cancerian energy also soulmate energy Magician in reverse, Mercurial, so Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, Divine Masculine Energy. Then we've got this, Three of Swords in reverse, Libra, uh, with the Ace of Cups here. Now, this energy, I don't like. I don't love it. There's some, there's some grossness here. There's some yuckiness here. But with that Five of Swords, especially ending with Three of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups, I feel like you actually have victoriously walked away from like a very gross energy uh you're walking away from people who are kind of working against you the naysayers the people who like are trying to take you down for some of you this is just one connection in particular and it is a very trickstery manipulative energy it's a selfish energy uh it's someone who's not really interested in giving to you aqua and you're just like yeah no but done <laughs> i'm off to bigger and better things man no 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 especially with the three of swords in reverse with the ace of cups this is very healing energy this is very loving energy and i like this i like this a lot for you like I said, I feel like you're just defeating this. Some of you, this is a new connection coming in that's like kind of warming up your heart a little bit. Yeah, they're saying yeah. Yeah, definitely. Some of you, this is definitely, some of you, not all of you, this is a new connection that's warming your heart from after dealing with this bullshit and this craziness. Some of you are getting promoted at work or coming into some kind of like spotlight energy regarding finances and because of that, again, it's highlighting naysayers in your life, but also it's attracting people who are abundant. It's attracting people who have that kind of energy of, I don't want to say wealth. I'm like, what's another word for this? Uh, because of the positive changes you're, you're experiencing, your vibration is getting raised. So people who are more in that higher vibration that you're now entering are being attracted to you. So not only are you really seeing the crappy crap in, in the people in your life, but you're also attracting energies that are more high vibe and more nurturing for you. And you're just going for it. Overall energy, we do have, wow, we've got the Empress Aqua, the Nushin, so Libra and Taurus, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Aqua, I love this. I freaking love this. Virgo energy, look at you. <laughs> look at you, Aqua. The Empress in, in her castle, essentially, or him. 
you know, could be a man. It's just feminine energy, right? Um, but yeah, Aqua, you're just, you're sitting so pretty. It's not even, it's not even funny. Some of you definitely are coming into some serious money for sure. Or you're actually uh, moving homes. But this is how, like, this is the energy I'm feeling. Just like queen of the castle. Queen or king of the castle. Ten of pentacles with the empress. That is abundance and blessings and stability like tenfold. Okay. Wow. Aqua. I like it. I do want to break some of this down though a little bit. Let's look at, let's look at, um, Mm, no 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 let's look here let's look here let's look at the eight of wands because that's all about exact that's like the the heart of what's going on for you here about where you're going and how you're getting there why you're getting there what your focus really is okay mm. cosmic we'll do cosmic some of the eight of wands Eight of Wands for Aquarius. Time with Eight of Wands for Aquarius. Time with Eight of Wands for Aquarius. One more. Some of you are definitely running your own business. Sorry, they're just pointing this out to me. Running your own business or getting promoted to like big boss, head honcho. You're no longer going to be baby boss. You're going to be big boss. <laughs> Tell me about eight of wands. Tell me about eight of wands. Some of you, the way you're defeating these naysayers is quite literally just walking the fuck away. <laughs> Sorry, the way they're showing this to me is funny. Like, almost like you have your head down at your desk and you're working, working, working. And these naysayers are like, blah, 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 blah. They got all kinds of shit to say and you don't even hear them. Like, some of you, that's how you're shutting them out. Even if it's just one person or many. It's different for all of you. Talk about the Eight of Wands. Oh my god can i be an aquarius can i please be an aquarius uh ten of cups spicy and energy oh my god aqua look where you're going L look what you're stepping into this is beautiful oh my god this is so beautiful it's like you hit the jackpot quite literally you hit the cosmic jackpot ten of cups ten of pentacles and the wheel all we're missing is the sun not to mention you also got the ace of cups not to you know don't forget some of you there's actually more high vibe energy coming in that's like allowing you to really enjoy the changes that are happening in your life and what you're stepping into. This is fucking amazing. Some of you are stepping into a connection that's providing this energy to you. Not saying that like you're not bringing anything to the table. It feels very equal for those in that in that bow, but it's just like, oh my God, you're not, there's no better than this. There's no better than this. This is beautiful. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ten of cups, ten of pens on the wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay. Let's keep going. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. I'm like, what else is that? <laughs> Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. I almost don't want to do any more spreads. This is so positive. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. We've got the Ace of Wands. Wow. Aqua, you are achieving what you want. Exactly what you want. Exactly what your desires are. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be so stable. You're going to be so confident. You're going to be so, you're just happy life, man. This is the epitome of a happy life that you're stepping into. You're not letting anybody take that shit away from you either. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're just going to have it all. I'm like, God, I want to be an Aquarius right now. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Wands. Oh, interesting. Okay, an interesting card just came out. Oh, oh, this is the naysayers. Okay. I was like, what? Like, God, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Now we have justice in reverse Libra energy with the three of pentacles, Cappy energy, and the nine of swords, Gemini energy. This is someone suffering in some mental torture and a lot of fear, uh, a lot of anguish, a lot of anxiety, a lot of like, oh my God, what the fuck? Like consumed with thoughts of the fact that you're building and maybe merging and collabing with someone else, but justice in reverse, it's like you're not doing it with the naysayers. These, This is literally people or a person fretting over your happiness and success. And you know, I, you know, I get it, it sucks. It sucks when you're a naysayer, I know, it sucks. 
Um, I hate to say too bad. Mm, I hate to say too bad. I'm like, maybe I'm okay. Sorry. I just you, you guys are you're coming into such great things that it's just like anyone who like, is upset at you for that. I just that instantly is just makes me like, really? <laughs> Like, do you really want to poo poo on someone's happiness just because? Like, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, I'm bringing it back, guys. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Uh, overall energy, we do have the Nine of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Sun in reverse. Yeah. Mm hmm. With the King of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords. This is the naysayer or naysayers, okay? Uh, someone feels like they're losing their wish come true. Someone's really heartbroken. Someone doesn't understand why this has happened. Aqua, you're just going to where it is you need to be. You're getting what it is you want. You're getting what it is that makes you happy. You would not be coming into this unless you deserved it or unless it was part of your path. This person's having a really, really hard time with it. But the fact that we also have, remember, the Five of Swords with the Two of Cups in verse and Magician in verse, it seems like this person wasn't exactly a team player, right? And they feel kind of defeated by that, by the fact that you're walking into this beautiful, amazing energy. And, and that you're healing and that you got a lot of love for yourself and you're stepping into a very happy time and you're attracting people who are of that same vibration, who are willing to give you any kind of reciprocal connection, friendship or otherwise, right? But this person's just like, they're, they're heartbroken about it and they just can't understand why. Why am I not getting what I want? Why am I not... Why am I not allowing, like, why am I not being allowed to go on the ride with Aqua? Because this person's got some stuff to do, right? I mean, I'm kind of curious to look at this Magician universe to see, like, what their energy was like as, you know, whatever it was you were dealing with before these changes came in. Yeah, let's look at the Magician universe. I'm kind of curious. Um, Let's do Gilded. And then we'll go ahead and pull a different spread. Because, I mean, Aqua, you got some amazing stuff. What else is there to say? So what about Magician in Reverse? So what about Magician in Reverse for Aquarius? So what about Magician in Reverse for Aquarius? And a Queen of Wands energy, Aries, uh, could also be fire or water. This is someone who's usually very, very attractive. Also someone who knows how to manipulate energy, work with energy, knows how to draw things and people to them. They're great manifesting energies. Not surprising, it's attached to the Magician in Reverse, okay? So it, whether this is a man or a woman, it doesn't matter who this other person is or naysayer, naysayers are. Um, they know what they're doing. They know how to manipulate energy around them, and that also means they know how to manipulate people if need be, okay? I'm also getting some charming energy off of that. Play out Magician in Reverse. They could be very physically attractive. They could definitely be very physically attractive. Play out Magician in Reverse. we have here oh my oh really okay okay page of wands in reverse my bad news card also gossip i'm getting something about gossip uh queen of swords libra energy could also be air or water queen of pentacles capricorn energy could also be earth or water there's too many goddamn cooks in this kitchen man king of pentacles in reverse <laughs> taurian energy could also be earth or air overall we do have temperance with the eight of wands and the five of wands which is beautiful because basically with temperance things are being balanced out um and they happen in the way they're supposed to happen eight of wands like i said aqua you're off to amazing places you're off to your ten of cups ten of pentacles away from this grossness away from fighting away from people who want to tear you down away from gossip away from all of that shit okay away from all of that i do I, aqua i can't shake that there's like more than just one person here who is not happy with what you're coming into especially with all these like character cards we have here um we got a lot of characters here 
especially, especially with this. Uh, I feel like this is honestly you here delivering that news of like, look, I got to cut this. I, I got to go and do this. I got to go and do that because there's a lot of cool things happening for me and I can't allow you or I can't allow other people to try to take me down here. And then with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like for those of you where this is more of like a romantic connection, it's representing your roles in that dynamic, okay? Very loyal. Here you are, Aqua. <laughs> Very loyal. Uh, showing up, getting shit done, being that partner, right? King of Pentacles in reverse can be a very self-serving energy. It could also be a controlling energy, very indicative of what we've already been sensing with this person or again, the naysayers, okay? Um, for those where this isn't a romantic connection, it could just indicate that you definitely are, on paper, you're a really good match or you're really compatible. I do feel for some of you, this is a major family conflict, okay? Where there's definitely some parental figures involved uh, in all of this. I just feel like a lot of people are trying to come down on your happiness, and I don't like that. And you don't like it either. Um, but you're also uh, protected here. I just want to say with temperance, it's also like guardian angel energy. You're being guided out of, out of this energy and away from these people and going into, again, your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pence, your Ace of Wands, your Ace of Cups, your Wheel of Fortune. Okay? Beautiful stuff. All right? Beautiful. So don't worry about it. All right, Aqua. Let's do another spread. I kind of want to take... A different approach to this one. Um, do I? Let me think about that for a hot second. I do. I do. Okay. Uh, I'll do a romance angel spread for this one. Okay. Any messages for my aquas or a different group of aquas? Sometimes they relate. Sometimes they don't. So again, just take what resonates. Any messages for Aquas or any different messages for my Aquarians? I just saw a koala. I love koalas. They're so cute. Oh, they just reminded me of Australia, though. God, Australia. Um, koalas are amazing creatures. I just have to say they are. They're amazing and they're adorable and they make the, fu the funniest, cutest little sounds. But beyond that, if we're talking about just spiritual energy and totems uh that animal particularly always reminds me of the blueprint always reminds me of destiny what we're supposed to do what we're supposed to learn who we're supposed to meet where we're supposed to go the schedule that we made for ourselves essentially before we got here so i feel like for some of you that's definitely at play i just heard topsy-turvy uh it's interesting so koalas are nocturnal as you know, I'm sure most a lot of you know. Um, Aquas, there might be something about your nature that's innately topsy turvy. That's kind of cute. I like that. Uh, Whatever is normal for other people is is not normal for you. <laughs> Obviously, that's not for everybody. That's not for everybody. Sorry, they're talking to me. Difference between night and day. Some guys might work at night. That might also be why they mentioned that. Um, some of you guys might work at night. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Jeez. They're being sassy with me today. Um, a lot of you guys are doing some some crazy astraling at night. Be mindful of that. And just in regards to trying to remember things, um, you can always set that intention to hold on to memories. Because I feel like some of you guys want to remember more of what you're doing at night. A lot of, like, you're, some of you are doing some really, really intense work at night. Um helping people in the, in the astral as you're astraling you might wake up exhausted it's usually that's usually a clear indicator you're waking up like you didn't sleep at all because you're not really sleeping <laughs> anyway let's get some cards out here any messages for my aquas or any different messages for aquas Any messages for Aquas? Why am I getting a defensive energy? Any messages for Aquas or any different messages for Aquas? Oh, we got children. Maybe you're dealing with some defensive children. <laughs> Your love life is being affected by children. 
uh, Aqua, somebody could, could obviously have kids, right? Or share kids with someone. Um, some of you guys, there's a lightheartedness about you that's trying to come to the surface. Really just understanding how to harness your inner, your inner child for your benefit, but you can only do that once you've healed your inner child, okay? So just understand that process of where you're at in that process. You're all in a different spot there. And Aqua, I gotta be honest. Some of you might have some kids coming into your life, whether that's through pregnancy or like um, like stepchildren, or like someone else's kids. I just keep getting an energy of like new, new, like new kids on the scene for some of you. Let's keep going. That might also be what's what's trying to in, ignite some of your inner child energy to come out a little bit more. Others of you, that's also happening to just connect with your children more. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding this spread? Ooh. Any, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. Any other messages for Aquarius? Oh crap, Aqua. Oh, oh my. Of course. Um, so we have unrequited love and worth waiting for. And then we have chemistry and this could be the one that came out together. This is usually my counterpart card in this deck. Overall, we have new love and getting to know each other. Now, Aqua, straight out the gate, some of you have kids with someone that you're not supposed to be with long term. Sorry, hate to break it to you. You probably deep down already know that. And with the worth waiting card is indicative of divine timing, that there's a, there's a time and a place for everything. And sometimes we're supposed to be in situations to learn something or just for a certain amount of time, right? So some of you are in connections that you might have bore children in, um, but you weren't supposed to be in long term. And once that closes out or you recognize that or that is dealt with you're gonna be oh my god <laughs> oh my god um hit in the face with a new connection that is just like god where are my words sorry i'm just overwhelmed by the energy it's just kind of shocking even as a reader um you're you're going to you're going to be hit with such energy in a new connection where you're just like holy shit like this is my person this is the person I really wanted. Like, this is the person I was supposed to be with. Not saying that you weren't supposed to have kids with this individual. Kids are a blessing. Don't get me wrong. Um, for some of you, you were just supposed to have children with that person and, like, that was it. I know how that sounds, but sometimes it happens that way. There's a whole, like, genetics thing behind that for a lot of you, but I don't I don't want to get into that because that's going to dominate a lot of this reading. But seriously, though, Aqua, wow. Wow. Congratulations, to whoever this is for, because this is beautiful energy. Um, you, oh God, whoever's resonating with this, you're coming into a connection that you wouldn't have been ready for if you didn't deal with some with some connections that triggered you, made you look at yourself, made you grow as a person and work through your own dysfunctions and work through your own shit. Some of you guys were just not ready for that. And now that you've worked through this, here you go. Congratulations. Here is your gift. You're ready for this kind of high vibe connection. This could definitely definitely connect to the other reading for some of you guys, okay? I'm just, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked. Um, let's go ahead and look at children because I am curious about that. Some of you, like I said, there's a lightheartedness trying to come out um, either to connect with children you already have with someone that maybe you weren't supposed to be with long term or in order to connect to maybe a new person that you're going to be meeting who may have children already, okay? Also, this kind of connection tends to bring about that fun, playful kind of childlike energy as well. Um, some of you are supposed to have children with this person. Take the messages as they resonate. They're different for everybody, okay? Or for different people is what I meant to say. Okay, so let's look at children. Again, congratulations. This is amazing energy. Uh, let's do Crystal. Sorry about children. children for Aquarius. Turn up children for Aquarius. Turn up children for Aquarius. Tell me about children for Aquarius. Tell 
Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire. Yeah, some of you definitely had some some whew, major growth that needed to happen here, okay? Um, regarding regarding your inner child, only so that you can harness it later for your own benefit. Inner child, your our inner ch children. Like how do I gram grammatically say this? Our inner children are great for create creating. Okay, um, children are curious. Like there's no limitations, right? That's an energy that every adult needs to have. It's the only way to grow. It's the only way to innovate. It's the only way to have progress within ourselves in our own lives, but also that affects society, right? People who think of the most amazing inventions in the world that those the world has ever seen, they have had that childlike mentality of nothing is impossible. Anything is possible. If you just like, just figure it out, you can make shit happen, right? That's the way inner, ch inner child energy is. Like there's no holding back the creation and inspiration of a, of a child or your inner child, right? That's why it's so important to not only heal our inner children, our inner, it's so weird to say that, our inner children, um, but so just so we can bring that to the forefront for our own benefit and the benefit of others, right? There's a lot of work that needed to happen here, okay? Uh, some of you might have experienced um, being stunted in your youth. Again, keep in mind, this could also be someone else that I'm picking up on, but that's what I'm getting, that for some, there's there was a major stunting through trauma at, at milestone ages that really need, needed to be addressed. I feel like a lot of you have worked through this, okay? Let me also say that. Like a lot of you have worked through this. <sighs> yeah, it's just a lot of energy about growth. Let's keep going. Tell me more about children. Wow. Yeah. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, this is just growing past inner conflicts, growing past um tearing apart. Interesting. Um Growing past issues that cause destructive behavior. I'm also getting custody battle all of a sudden. That just came in really strong. Custody battle. Obviously, if you have kids. <laughs> Obviously. Um, you've been dealing with a custody battle regarding someone that it's a, it's just, it's just love ain't there anymore, right? Love ain't there anymore. Whatever brought you guys together initially, whatever that was, is just not there. And that's okay. Um, you had to go through it for a reason. You learned a lot. You grew from it a lot, okay? And it's just time that this gets resolved. And I think that custody battle is getting resolved relatively soon. And I think once that door closes and that energy of whatever that connection was, this beautiful, amazing thing can come in. Tell me more about children for Aquarius. Wow. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air with the Ten of Wands, Sag energy. This is major burden. Major burden and a lot of work. I feel a little bit of a possessive controlling energy here. Yeah, I feel like this is all connecting mostly to the unrequited love situation with the with the other parent here. Um, others of you, it's just a... a the, others of you, it's a parental figure that you had in your childhood that's created some of these issues, Okay. So it also wants to come out. Tell me more about children. Oh, shit. That's too many, Spirit. That's too many. That's too many. Hold on. Like 10 cards came out. <laughs> Tell me more about children for Aquarius. Okay, I'll take those. Tell me more about children for Aquarius. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy. And then we have the Five of Swords. Aquarian energy. Yikes. Okay. These inner child issues and or the issues around um, custody battle and or issues around um, you the issues you have with the other parent of your children. Decide what boat you're in. Really awful shit here. Okay. I gotta be honest. Really awful shit here. Um, it feels very defeating. It feels very, there's a lot of vindictive energy. There's a lot of resentment. There's a lot of control, a lot of possessiveness. It just feels really awful. It feels really, really awful. Um, and Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it just seems like when you've been in the thick of it, when you were experiencing it with this other parent of your children, um, with this parental figure you had growing up with, um, whatever boat you're in, it seemed like things were at a major standstill, like nothing would ever change. That's not the case. Over energy, 
we do have not a cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Interestingly enough, we also have the Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. A lot of fire and water going on in these two cards alone. I feel like this is your energy, Aqua, of just leaving it behind. You're walking away confident, grounded, and with a lot of love in your heart. Some of you are, are able to leave this because of a suitor. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Let me explain that. <clears throat> Some of you are able to leave this energy behind because of a romantic suitor that provided an opportunity for you to finally close the door on this and get some healing and closure on this whole situation, okay? Um, yeah, and some of you are having to face your inner child stuff because the person you're meeting has children and it's inciting that inner child within you. And when that happens, if your inner child is healed, you're good to go. Or if you work through most of your issues, you're good to go. And if you haven't at all, it could be very, very triggering, right? And then sending you into that process of having to deal with it. And then eventually you can harness your own inner child. And of course, also enjoy these children, okay? Wow, okay, Aqua, let's keep going. So I think I've explained this fairly well. I don't even really want to focus on this because I just feel like it's the shit you're leaving behind. So let's look at what you're going to get to. I'm sorry, I know, I get all giddy when it's like so positive like this. This is like such beautiful energy. Uh, let's look at this could be the one. Wow. <clears throat> I'm going to use Radiant Wise for this one. Where are we at? 36 minutes? Oh, we're good. We're good. Talking about this could be the one. Talking about this could be the one for Aquarius. This could be the one for Aquarius. I thought this could be the one for Aquarius. Time out, this could be the one for Aquarius. Time out, this could be the one for Aquarius. I know, like, no cards are coming out. Give me something, spirit. Give me something. Time out, this could be the one. Oh, hoo -hoo the chariot uh this feels very victorious i don't know why i'm getting like a very like achievement success energy off of this can't Syrian energy this is also movement so it could be indicative of moving excuse me or travel but i just feel very like oh god what's the word for this like i'm on my horse and i have won the battle and i'm feeling damn good and i'm amazing you know it's like it feels that kind like that kind of energy <laughs> so i'm more about this could be the one Ooh, okay, Aqua. It's like this person, whoever they are, it's like they're a stark 180 from the person you had children with, or again, for those where it's like you don't have kids and this person may or may, may or may not have kids or it's just triggering the inner child within you, whatever, whatever. Decide again, decide who you are. Um, whatever energy you were dealing with that was like this, whether you were a kid and this was one of your parents who was like this, um, or it's the person that you had children with. Again, decide who you are. Stark 180 difference. Stark 180 difference. I mean, this this energy over here feels very... God, what's the word for this? It's very healthy. It's very healthy. It's very alpha. It's very much like I take ownership of my shit. I take responsibility for my shit. And I want to be responsible for a lot of shit. It's like, this feels very like emperor, right? Emperor, master of their domain, master of themselves, very wizened, been through a lot of shit, very mature, just really shows up. This is someone who likes to possess, someone who likes to control, someone who throws their weight around in a very toxic way because they love to defeat. They like to put people down. They like to keep people down. Tell me more about this could be the one.
getting excited for you. So I thought this could be the one. So I thought this could be the one. Wow. Three of Pentacles. <sighs> they are on your team, man. Like, this is a partner. Like, this is someone who shows the fuck up. <laughs> Aqua. This could also ind indicate that uh, you could be meeting them at work or actually working with them in the near future. Over energy, we do have the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. And are you ready for this? Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm. Looks a little familiar, doesn't it, Aqua? <laughs> Looks a little bit like the last spread. Yeah, this is someone coming in to claim what they want. They know what they want. They show the fuck up when they know what they want. And they're coming in to bring in Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles to be a true partner, a true teammate. And with a chariot, like, they mean business. I mean, just look, just look at the illustration. Like, look at the energy of this card. They mean business. This is someone who, like, does not fuck around. This is someone who does not play games. Again, like, just very, like, like emperor master of their domain energy again can also be a female you know gender doesn't apply um wow congratulations <laughs> i seriously need to be an aqua right now like this is crazy okay uh let's see 41 minutes i think we have time for one more spread why well, do i have a feeling this is this one feels a little dark all of a sudden i got hit with a lot of like sad energy um but let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and do another one let's do another one i'm gonna use beautiful creatures actually let me make space okay any messages for aquarius any different messages for aquarius or messages for a different group of aquarians Any messages for Aquarians? Different messages or for different groups of Aquarians, please? Oh. Yeah, this one feels a little heavy. I'm not going to lie. Not loving this one. Not loving this one right off the bat. It it just feels... Uh, it feels like I got rocks in my pockets. You know, it kind of feels like that. Like I've got emotional rocks in my pockets. <laughs> Any messages for Aquas? Oh. I feel very sad with this energy. Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the moon. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Someone could have an Earth Moon placement. Fuck. Oh, yeah, this feels really sad. There's a lot of suppression here about missed opportunities. Like, this is, like, the, this is such a heavy energy of, like, I missed it. I missed it. I missed my shot. I missed my opportunity. I missed that chance. I missed out. It's it's more than just than fear of missing out. It's, like, I missed it. I fucking missed it. Ugh. Any other messages for Aquas regarding this spread? Keep in mind, Aqua, like I said, all this can always be vice versa. Yeah, someone's just feeling really emotional, whether it's you or someone else. First, honestly, Aqua, I'm starting to think this is someone else around you or someone you're connecting with. But decide, decide for yourselves. Any other messages for Aquas? A lot of cups going on. Page of cups. Someone's trying to figure out what to do. They know how they feel, but it's just like... Okay, I miss I missed shit. I I messed up because I I missed out. Whatever it is, they feel like they missed out on. It feels like it's something that they had emotionally vested in or were emotionally attached to. With the page of cups, it's almost like, okay, how do I take this emotion and do something with it? What can I do with this emotion I'm feeling? What can I do with this upsetness that I'm feeling? Can I tell? Can I can I talk about it? Like can I talk about what I've missed out on? It's like this person feels like they can't share it with anybody. Like, I can't share my pain. I can't share what I'm missing out on. I can't share what I'm disappointed in missing out on. But I want to. But I want to talk about it. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding this spread? Where are we at? Okay. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding this spread?
Any other messages for Aquarius regarding this spread? Wow. Overall energy, we have Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy, Kelsey Pisces or Scorpio. This is a lot of sadness, guys. Oh, fuck. This is a lot of sadness. And it's quite literally just because someone missed something. They literally just missed out on something, an opportunity, whatever you want to call it. They're suppressing those emotions. They're just in their emotions. They want to talk about it, but they feel like they can't. They feel like they can't, but they know they have to do something with these emotions. And I feel like they eventually might say something. Let's look at the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and see what it is they missed. Um, do Rider Wait. Tell them the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell them the Ace of Pentacles. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Deck really wanted to talk. It literally jumped up at me. Tell them the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. This is interesting because it's like, this is a sense of freedom. Oh. Ace of Wands in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who quite literally missed out on something they really, really fucking wanted. Um, it, I feel like there's another person attached to this. If, they've, if this person missed out on a relationship or an opportunity there, it's just like doors closed. I made another video. Doors closed. Doors closed. It's almost like someone got away. Because that sense of freedom. Eight of Swords in verse, that's freedom. That is, I'm gone, let go of, free, no longer scared, I can see the light. Like that is like, again, the epitome of freedom. But with Ace of Wands in reverse, there's, there's no desire there or there's, again, another missed opportunity. Two Aces in reverse. And Five of Pentacles is being alone, being shut out, being out in the cold, as a lot of us readers say, um, hitting rock bottom. It feels like someone got away. That's how it feels. Like something escaped someone's hand, someone's clutches, and they were really, really emotionally invested in it or really, really wanted it. And the door got shut on them. Doors closed. The vault is closed. I literally just heard the vault is closed. This person could be struggling financially. They could definitely be struggling financially. Interesting that they said vault. Tell me more about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, interesting last two cards that just came out uh wow knight of cups piscean energy could also be water or fire and temperance sag energy and then we have the devil in reverse capricorn energy i love when these two cards come out together especially in these positions because temperance quite literally trumps the devil temperance is healing temperance is that balance harmonious energy it is also an energy of ascension devil is quite the opposite it's being bogged down it's being tied up it's being oppressed right not having balance having restraint but devil universe means that that's released and temperance is here for healing that's coming in after a knight of cups energy so this is an apology there's an apology to heal or some kind of um emotional offer to heal something this person feels like they missed out on that they might want to come in and apologize for missing out but i feel like it's more like they miss out on an opportunity to do this that's how it feels it feels like they missed an opportunity to do this specifically they never got to do this the door got closed on them and something got away something or someone got away from them it really feels like a person and they never got to do this overall energy Seven of Pentacles, Taurian Energy, Jesus, and the Page of Swords. There's a lot of watching going on here. <laughs> these two cards are quite literally sitting still and evaluating. That's what these two, these two cards indicate. It's like this person waited too long. It's kind of how this feels. This person waited too long to, to do this. And the door of opportunity was there. And instead of moving, <laughs> instead of be, being the knight, they sat still and just did this. They just watched. They watched, they evaluated, and they overthought. 
This is so interesting. Um, let's look at the Eight of Swords in reverse. I'm going to use Lenormand on this one. Oh, or do I want to use... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't decide which Lenormand deck I wanted. I'm going to use a special edition. Time of this Eight of Swords in reverse. Time of the Eight of Swords in reverse. For some, they were they should have done this and they didn't, but it's almost like for some, someone else did. Like someone else came in and freed someone from a situation that was very toxic and restraining and devilish. And this other person was just left there. That's not for everybody. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. That would be definitely a third party situation. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. The star healing, healing enlightenment. It's very indic it's very indicative of the star card in the tarot deck. Also with the six of cups attached to it, there's a lot of um, how do I say the soul connection? There's a there's soul energy here. It's like this is not just mundane three D stuff. Like this is like my soul's calling me to do this. I have to do this for my soul's benefit, or my higher self is telling me to do this. Um, someone was freed because it was time. It was time. It was time for this energy to be dissipated. It feels like divine intervention, especially with temperance here. So it almost feels like divinely orchestrated freedom. And it's, yeah, and it's like this person who just sat there and did this could have been the one to cause this freedom uh, from the devil energy, but they just didn't. And so there was divine intervention because this person wasn't doing what they should have been doing. And whoever got away, got away. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. It feels like a person. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh. Okay, that just broke my heart. Oh my God. Oh my God. With the. Did you see how that card just. <laughs> wow. Yeah, someone does not want to hear this. Uh, with the compass, which is basically where you're supposed to go. These two cards together, that is blueprint. That is total blueprint right there. Where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do. I just heard North Node as well. Um, so I'm going to have their Aqua North Node placement. And then the heart. Love. Love. That's love. Love. Heading in the direction of love. Heading in the direction of happiness. Heading in the direction of, for some, a divinely guided connection. Wow, overall, we've got the dog, loyalty. Underneath that, we have the birds, communication about loyalty. This person could have been the one to just open up emotionally, to say whatever it is they had to say to heal a situation that they had with someone, or to say or do whatever needed to be done or said to release toxic energy between them and another person. And they didn't do it. They did this instead. They did this instead. They sat down and watched. This is what they did instead. So the divine said, you know what? We're going to come in and intervene then. And we're going to shut the door on your opportunity to do this. And they shut the door. Yeah, this is like, this is like pre-scheduled soul contracts at play. And the other individual has been freed. Wow, this is really sad. Okay. Let's look at the Page of Cups, and then we'll wrap this up, Aqua. Ooh, I don't have that many tarot cards left. <laughs> I don't have that many decks left that I, I like to use for YouTube. Uh, uh, ah. Uh, you know. Hold on. Let's do Santa Muerte. I'm going to make a Page of Cups for Aquarius. Page of Cups for Aquarius. Turn the Page of Cups for Aquarius.
So I'm at the Patient Cup for Aquarius. Time so at the Page of Cups for Aquarius. One more. Time so at the Page of Cups for Aquarius. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Oh, this poor person. Okay, tell me about the Page of Cups. This is talks of commitment. They want to talk about a commitment. That's what they want. It's what they always wanted. It's what they always wanted, but they didn't take action. They didn't take action. Sorry, my energy is like, because <laughs> this person's energy is like that. Tell me about the Page of Cups. I wonder if they're actually going to say anything to you, Aqua. Too many. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Because they want to, but I can feel it. They're not sure they they're not sure they can. Tell me about the page of cups. Tell me about the page of cups. Wow, not too many other cards want to come out here. Come on, give me something. Tell me about the page of cups for Aquarius. Ace of Cups in reverse. Three aces in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Pence in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. They feel like they missed their chance on love. They feel like they, they feel like the one got away. I hate to sound cheesy, but it is how it's, that's exactly what this feels like. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Over energy. Shit. Yep. Two of, two of Cups in reverse. Disconnected soul, uh, disconnected soulmates. Broken love connection. This person seriously looks at this other individual like, God damn it, that was my person. I wanted to be with them. I was supposed to be with them, and I missed my chance. I didn't, I didn't take the initiative to dissipate the toxicity between us or the issues that arose between us. I didn't take the initiative to do that. The door got closed on me, and they're gone. And for some... The universe was like, let's rewrite some shit. Let's rewrite some of these contracts and then send someone new in. And yes, that can happen. There can, there can definitely be rewriting of soul contracts. I've actually had to uh, sit through a couple <laughs> of my of my own contract rewrites. Anyway, um, yeah, this is sad. This is quite literally someone sitting in their motions like the one got away. The one that got away. Aqua. The other, the other two were like really high vibe, really up, really positive. I feel like that's definitely for you guys. I feel like this is definitely the energy of someone else around you, someone that you got away from, apparently. Uh, and again, take all of these as they resonate and they are not for everybody. And yes, they can be vice versa. So switch the roles if you have to, especially if you're a cross watcher. Um, but guys, I hope you found this insightful and I hope you found this helpful. And I hope you guys have a really great birthday season and I will see you guys soon. Okay. Uh, have a really great February as well. Namaste.